Hey guys, um, you know the biggest form of respect I think I can pay back to um, the fact that my society and where I am now is so, uh, I'm so lucky uh, in the fact that if you look, I don't have to go and plant the seeds and go and scavenge for food. Um, society's built up a chain where I can just go to the shop and buy. Um, the fact that I don't know how to make a sofa, for example, make a bed, and yet all these things are provided to me by um, people that created once upon a time until it became normal. Everything in my life, like uh, everything in your life too, cars, airplanes, all these technological things, even the most basic, basic things like um, building a house, for example. I don't know how to build a house. Who knows how to build a house? Only one one person at one point had to learn the skills to build a house and to build it efficiently and then people copied and then it became the new norm. And I feel like the greatest respect I can pay to everyone that has um, given me the luxuries of my life right now, the greatest respect I can pay to them is to myself become what I call a force multiplier, to give a lot more value than your average person. Because your average person is going to come, not appreciate the fact that they're living in a country where they can go and buy food, they can make money, they can go and buy food whenever they want, they can eat what they want, they can do what they want, they can sleep when they want, they can shit when they want, all these kind of things. People do that, the average person, but they don't realise that it's on the back. As I said, I said, I stand tall because I stood on the shoulder of giants. I think all of us, all of us in society, are standing tall because we stood on the shoulders of people that made our lives ten times easier. Now, the people that did everything for us have made our lives to uh, put us to a point, an evolutionary point, where now there is no pressure to survive because survival's a given. Survival's done. We don't have to create to survive now. Other people had to do in past societies. Um, the, the few creators had to create to survive, but now the average person can just sit and do nothing, just do a 9 to 5, come home, watch some TV, chat with their family, have a little bit of a social life, Saturday, Sunday, back to work 9 to 5, and that's fine. And the average person does not feel like they need to give back because they don't appreciate the other people before them that were just like them, normal people, because success is basically just normal people that have good habits. Uh, normal people, average people don't know that. So they don't realise that those people who were like them, but gave, but decided to give a lot more back, uh, decided to delay gratification and to make change society, have made their life possible. And there's no pressure on people nowadays, your average person, to do it. However, it's not about me, um, the pressure on me uh, as such, but I feel like I need to give back to society, big time, to give back a lot more value than if I had never existed on this planet. Because your average person does give back, the average person is good, kind, loving, all these kind of things, not a psychopath basically, the average person is just normal. They will give back, but it would just be within a, a sphere of influence of friends and family. That's how most people, average people, play out their lives. Friends, family, uh, no big ideas, no legacy, um, no change in the world, not even changing many people's world, just changing friends and family, and that's it. That's, that's their limited sphere of scope. And that can only be made possible because life has been, the people before us, we have stood on the shoulder of them. And they've created the life where we can get away with just doing nothing, basically. We can get away with just being a little bit happy, having our own ego fed to us by friends and family, a bit of love, bit of love, bit of happiness in the body, and then we die. And that's what the average person can do. But that's not why I came here. And it's not something I chose, it's something that I've been forced into due to pain. Um, significant pain. I have to surpass um, the, the legacy of your average person. But, at the same time, I feel like it's a form of respect I've got in my mind. Like I, I respect a lot of the people that have given me this life. And, and, and almost like the fact that I'm here in this moment in time, that where everything's possible. The people that made the internet, for example, um, the ultimate creators, that internet is going to literally um, made business possible for someone like me. It's made, me, made it possible for me to go into business now. Um, the dating coaches that have gone have made it possible and I now know that I can also have a great dating life. All these kind of things. These people have made it possible and I owe it as a, a form of respect to return it, the favour back to them. To be like the people in the past that pushed us and the people now that push the few 1%, 0.01% that push society forward. I feel like I owe it to them to become them and to be them and to be one of them. I, I associate more with them. I have more greater connection with them than your average person. And it's, it's a way of looking at it, but it's also a form of respect. That's what I want to talk to you. It's all about respect. Um, respect for uh, gratitude and respect for uh, and not taking for granted the things that other people take for granted. And that's it. That's all I want to say. Peace.